Happy holidays, everyone. This is Comic, RJ, Troubleshoot, and Sizzler, back with another week of Halo Infinite news. Today, we will talk about the Winter Contingency 3 operation, and more. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Now, let's jump right into it. The Winter Contingency 3 operation starts today. This operation contains a pass with 20 tiers of holiday-themed rewards, which will be free to obtain up until January 30th. Players can earn items like the Radical Tactics Emblem, the Frost Glaze Visor, and the Winter Knight Helmet through this festive Operation Pass. Getting the premium version of this pass will also grant you the Ice Fisher Armor Coating and make it so that the pass never expires. This is the last operation for this year, but we should get more Operation news towards the beginning of 2024. As a quick reminder, Anyone who completes the main Season 5 pass will be able to purchase the Tactical Carrier Backpack from the Xbox Gear Shop. This backpack will be available up until January 29th, and patches for both the Combined Arms Operation and the Winter Contingency 3 Operation can be added to this pack for an extra $10 each. We'll have more news on additional Halo Gear rewards and more upcoming operations once the new year rolls in. In the meantime, enjoy some PvP and Firefight Mayhem in either matchmaking or custom games, and also try out the playlist containing the new networking model, especially if you haven't tried them yet. Stay tuned here for all your operation and seasonal news. Time for this week's Capstone Challenge. This week's Capstone Challenge requires you to earn 50 kills or assists in PvP. When completed, the challenge will grant you the Sui Generous Weapon Charm. Great Frosty Charm! Good luck to everyone going for kills and assists this week! On to this week's shop. Tis the season for holiday bundles, and we have three new bundles contained within a new Super Bundle, along with two other returning holiday bundles. Players who purchase this Super Bundle will also receive the Santa's Little Helper Weapon Coating, and the Stock and Stuffer Sidekick Weapon Model as a bonus. Out of all the bundles, the Scarlet Blend Bundle is the first semi-weekly bundle for this week. The first new holiday bundle in the shop is the Chill Out Bundle, which contains the Slay Bells Battle Rifle Weapon Model, the Chill Out Kill Effect, the Winter Lights Armor Effect, the Krampus Coat Weapon Coating, the Blood Jumper Armor Coating, the Kaleido Shot Emblem Set, and the Snowballer Weapon Charm. The second new Holiday Bundle in the shop is the Holiday Cheer Bundle, which contains the Holiday Cheer Rocket Launcher Weapon Model, the Good Morning Weapon Coating, the Yule Kick Armor Coating, the Kaleida Bolt Emblem Set, and the Gifted Step Mythic Effect Set. The third new Holiday Bundle in the shop is the Hearthfire Bundle, which contains the Payment Due Weapon Coating, the Hearthfire Armor Coating, the Collider Chip Emblem Set, and the Winter Step Armor Effect. This shop selection is both super jolly and festive, loving all the new holiday weapon models seen in each of these new bundles. As always, check out the Infinite News Twitter to catch all the daily and weekly items the minute they are released. Time for this week's Halo Infinite promotions. A massive Doritos, Mountain Dew, and Rockstar collaboration promotion is now live for Halo Infinite. Players residing in the U.S. can earn exclusive in-game items by purchasing one or more participating Doritos, Mountain Dew, or Rockstar products and redeeming their codes online. Players can earn the Varescent Visor, the Crimson Visor, the Mountain Tiger Armor Coating, the Believer Weapon Charm, and the Heat Wave Emblem Set through this new promotion. Directions found on our Infinite News website will guide anyone wishing to learn more on how to create an account and claim their codes to earn these amazing rewards. These rewards are now available to redeem. If you wish to earn these striking brand new items, be sure to purchase any of these products before the promotion ends on December 29th of this year. Promotions are still available via the Xbox Gear Shop. 
by purchasing specific Halo-themed apparel from the online store, you'll receive a code to unlock emblems for Halo Infinite. Players can unlock the Hannibal Heavies emblem, the Korolev Grizzlies emblem, the Lethbridge Gravitics emblem, the Mizraya Maulers emblem, or the Naftali Omnisports emblem by purchasing the corresponding hat or shirt. Be sure to check out these Xbox Gear Shop items if you wish to sport these great looks in-game and on the streets. For more information about the Doritos, Mountain Dew, and Rockstar promotion, the Gear Shop promotion, or any of the other ongoing Halo Infinite promotions, check out the Infinite News website. It's now time for this week's Community Highlights. Artist N.S. Clark created this art piece of a Spartan wielding an assault carbine and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the artwork, we can see a pinkish-purple Spartan posing with a highly detailed MA5K carbine. We really like the shades and colors of this piece. The shadows and graphics seen throughout add great depth to this composition, and we like the line work seen across all the armor pieces and the hefty carbine. The hue and atmosphere of this piece looks really pleasing to look at, and the blending of designs and colors on the Spartan and the background is super extraordinary. This beautiful artwork definitely depicts this Spartan as sweet, confident, and extremely lethal. To see this piece, as well as more amazing works from NS Clark, follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. Artist Emily Megan created this drawing of the Arbiter and shared it to Twitter this past week. In the artwork, we can see the Arbiter posing with an energy sword on a page decorated with silver foil. We really like the creativity and design that went into this piece. The shine and polish seen on the Arbiter's armor looks absolutely stunning, and the blue glow and reflection from his energy sword is also super eye-catching, and incredibly impressive given that this isn't a render, but rather a pencil drawing. The silver tones of this piece also blend extremely well together, and we believe the halo symbol background graphic and the foil bits tie up this shot marvelously. This detailed composition does justice to the world's most popular Sanghealy. To see this piece, as well as more breathtaking works from Emily Megan, follow the link to their Twitter post in the description below. Content creator Pippi created this animation adaptation of the Halo comic Breaking Quarantine and posted it to YouTube this past week. In the video, we can see Sergeant Johnson escaping from the flood and breaking out from the depths of Installation 04. We really enjoy the creativity and animation work that went into this video. The scenes showing Johnson fighting back the flood are super well done, and the animations of him jumping, gunning, and using grenades are really exciting to watch. The animation camera work in this piece is also superb, and the distorted lens edges seen in the flashback sequences also add tension to these thrilling shots. We can definitely see this excellent animation as an addition to Halo Combat Evolve's line of intense, action-packed cutscenes. To see this animation, as well as more incredible works from Pippi, follow the link to their YouTube video in the description below. It's now time for the Forge Map Spotlight. This week, we have two maps to showcase. The first map we're featuring today is great if you like battling in a place of dreams, now fractured. This is the Fractured Plains by Halo Infinite Forager Jack Sparkle. This map takes place in a Forerunner-esque cave temple system and is great for arena game modes like Fiesta. The design of this map looks absolutely incredible. We love the details seen from within the tight Forerunner and cave corridors to the open and wide exterior lush map sections. The outside, unplayable areas of this map are also astonishing, and we especially like the vast horizon seen by Eagle Team's spawn area. The lighting on this map is extremely spectacular, and it really adds to the mysterious and mystical atmosphere present throughout this ancient Forerunner structure. Players should be wary of the dangerous map hazards, with the most dangerous being the banished soldiers that periodically spawn around the map. These soldiers will attack any players unfortunate enough to make contact with them. However, enemy grunts can become allied with the players and will even assist in fighting off the enemy team. This beautiful land may be torn apart, but the halls of these ruins can still be used as the perfect battle space for Spartans to hone their strength and skills. 
To rally grunt troops on this ancient map for yourself, bookmark Jack Sparkle's map via the Halo Waypoint link in the description below. The second map we're featuring today is great if you like to battle within the tundra wastes of an abandoned highway. This is Erebus by Halo Infinite Forger Kinky Cosmonaut. This map takes place on a car-ridden highway found just outside a massive damaged wall and is great for squad battle game modes and firefight King of the Hill. This wide wasteland tundra outside this gigantic wall functions as a fantastic battlefield. We love the inspiration this map takes from the Cosmodrome found in the game Destiny, and we especially like the areas around each team's base, the center highway with its debris and many cars useful for cover, and the structures found just right beside the super tall wall. Each hill for Firefight King of the Hill is greatly placed, and our favorite spots definitely have to be the two middle hills found on the bridge and on the highway itself. Players can find an invisibility pickup and a rocket launcher spawn on the center highway, a sniper rifle and overshield spawn found at the wall and plenty of other weapons and vehicles scattered throughout the map. This frozen wasteland may lay dormant in darkness, but it still serves as a great place for Spartans to battle and use as a rally point against numerous waves of savage banished troops. To run over enemies not by rain gear, but with hogs on this map yourself, bookmark Kinky Cosmonauts map via the Halo Waypoint link in the description below. And that wraps up this round of Community Highlights. If you'd like to see your art, maps, or Halo clips potentially featured here, be sure to join our Discord, linked below, and feel free to say hi and share your creations from time to time. And that is all the infinite news we have for, well, the year! Start earning rewards from the Winter Contingency 3 Operation Pass and get excited for content arriving next year. Remember to send feedback to 343 on all their social media pages so they can better improve all aspects of Halo Infinite for the future. Also, check out the shop and review the promotions if you want to claim additional items for your Spartan. Follow the links in the description for more info on everything shown today and check out Infinite News for more on what's new in Halo Infinite. The Winter Contingency 3 operation is finally here, and all the recent quality of life changes for Halo Infinite have been fantastic so far. We'll be taking a break for the holidays this coming week, but we'll be back the week after to kick off our first episode of 2024. Happy Holidays, everyone! We will see you all in Infinite.